All right, it's 812 this morning, and you're taking in a live look at Earth from the thermosphere, home to NASA's International Space Station as it orbits the Earth. And we all know it's Halloween, and while you're outside taking the kids trick-or-treating, take a moment to maybe enjoy the night sky, because one day soon, scientists expect a stellar explosion some 3,000 light years away to wake a dead star. Here to tell us what a zombie star is and why we should keep an eye on the night sky is NASA astrophysicist Dr. Charity Woodrum. Thank you so much, Charity, for joining us today. This sounds like a, a really cool thing to check out, and it's something I know people have been talking about all summer, about this star system exploding in September, but why hasn't it happened yet? Yeah, so the prediction for when it was to happen was based on past behavior. So the last time that this exploded was back in 1946. And back in 1946, for about a year before it exploded, we started to see that, or they started to see that the light started to dim in this system, and then it exploded. And so when we observed that this system started dimming again, we knew that it was going to explode soon, but it's hard to know exactly when that will happen, but it, it should happen soon. It sounds much trickier than uh, just weather forecasting here on terra firma. So I can't even imagine what it's <laughs> like <laughs> forecasting exactly. in space. That's a whole lot of elements. <laughs> um, so what exactly is a zombie star? I've never heard of that before. Yeah, so a zombie star is just a nickname for, uh, you know, various types of dead stars. In this case, the zombie star is a white dwarf, which is the remnant of a dead star that's about the size of the Earth. And it has a, can a companion star that it's actually cannibalizing. The, can the companion star is a red giant, and material from the red giant is accreting onto the, the surface of the white dwarf. And eventually it will de detonate and, you know, have a thermonuclear explosion, which is what what we'll see in the night sky. Wow, that is wild. What are scientists able to learn from this event and uh, how can viewers see the new star when it goes nova? Yeah, there's plenty to learn from this event. Um, astronomically speaking, it's quite close by. It's only 3,000 light years away. So we'll be able to see it in unprecedented detail because we have observed Nova before, but they were more distant. So we'll be observing them with our space telescopes and ground-based telescopes all over the world. How and so we hope to learn you know, new information and open questions about events such as these. For example, I mentioned earlier that the, the system dimmed in light before it exploded, and we don't know why that happened. So that's one of the open questions we're hoping to answer. I love that, and we are waiting patiently for those answers. I mean, I feel like, you know, people who are, you know, just casual stargazers are very intrigued as well. Uh, what, what do you think makes people so interested in these kind of phenomenons, and um, how, how can people in general prepare to see this? Yeah, so to prepare, I would say go out and look up at the night sky, just like we have been doing quite a lot this last year with the comet and with the aurora borealis as well as the eclipse this year. All over the world, you know, we're just enamored by the night sky. So I say just keep going out and looking up at the night sky, and in particular look towards the west, towards corona borealis, where this event will occur. Um, go ahead and download one of those apps, those free apps on your iPhone that will help you find the constellation corona borealis. And just get familiar with what it looks like over there, and eventually you'll be out there looking up at the night sky, and what will appear as a new star will appear in this constellation. And you can even take before and after pictures with your iPhone. That is so neat. And it probably getting away from the bright, right, uh, bright lights of Las Vegas uh, is probably a good thing to do to get uh, optimal viewing. Um, Cherry, Definitely. where can people stay up to date on all of the zombie star news? Yeah, follow us on social media at NASA Universe on all of our social media accounts. That'd be the best way. As soon as it happens, we'll let everyone know. I'm doing that right as we speak. Dr. Charity Woodham, thank you so much for joining us this morning from NASA. I've learned so much this morning, and we'll make sure to post this on our website so our viewers can share it with their friends. Thank you so much for joining us today.